Now, in regard to training of, of all types, and particularly security awareness, I mean, that is, in a sense, the functional requirement, the training itself. But then, what is the assurance requirement? Now, overall, in the long term, of course, the assurance requirement is simply going to be how well does the organization do? Uh, are we... Uh, maintaining a secure posture uh, is this um, you know are the uh, employees uh, doing what they're supposed to in, in regard to security uh, how well are we doing with regard to security are uh, you know are exploits happening are, are attacks happening and that sort of thing. So we we need to look at uh, uh, that, but that is going to take some time. That, like I say, you know, that's going to be long term. So in order to figure out um, whether our training, whether our uh, security awareness training, and our education of of management of ourselves is effective. Um, We've got other aspects that we need to address. Um, some of this can be simply conducted in, in interviews. You know, okay, I mean, you know, interviews can simply be going out for coffee with, uh, well, not exactly random, but you know, different employees, and and just seeing what their uh, attitude towards security is. Um, what their awareness of security principles, procedures, or policies is in, in that regard. Uh, do they, you know, have a, a, an attitude of security? Is, is security uh, something they see as, as part of the business, or is it just a, a hindrance, uh, something that they have to do? Um, uh, of course, it's the same thing you should be doing uh, if you're involved, uh, if you can be involved, in uh, you know hiring interviews as as well, uh, making sure that when we bring people on, uh, that that's doing it. Now, um, a, a bit of testing and assessment uh, after somebody's gone through training is is probably uh, not a miss. Um, you know, part of that can be, for example, you send somebody on a seminar uh, to learn how to use a particular tool, maybe. Okay, when they come back, how about delivering a, you know, an abbreviated seminar for uh, the other employees in their, in their office, in their department? Uh, uh, others, you know, passing along that information and by the way with you sitting in on it getting a feel for whether they actually do know uh, what they're talking about now you may not know how to use this particular tool but you can tell uh, you know how well do they handle questions when somebody asks a question uh, do they know the answer are they comfortable with giving an answer um, you know that have a, a little bit of an assessment uh, of whether they have actually learned something from this seminar. Then, uh, you know, if the answer is no, uh, either that person or that seminar is, uh, you know, moved down the priority list for further training. Um, there, you know, similar types of assessments. Uh, you know, when you can get uh, coffee or a meal with uh, senior management, you know, work security into the conversation. Uh, see, you know, get a feel uh, for whether this person is, um, you know, sympathetic to, um, has a feel for, has the right attitude to security in general, um, and particularly those people who you have seen as 
enemies, maybe, you know, people who haven't had uh, a really good attitude towards security, has that changed over time? And, you know, if, if so, uh, yeah, what you're doing is, is working in terms of educating uh, senior management. Um, in, in terms of security awareness, um, and uh, particularly after a, a major campaign, uh, in a security awareness campaign, you know, maybe some actual tests, uh, seeing whether people have learned, you know, not uh, maybe company-wide, but certainly, you know, um, these, uh, you know, some representative sample of of people, you know, whoever you can get, uh, to uh, to take an exam uh, and and see if they've learned. And again, you know, do these on a regular basis so that you can measure the changes. You know, we're not necessarily looking for absolutes here, but are you improving the overall security posture, the uh, the overall uh, attitude towards security of um, uh, you know, of, of the employees in, in general. And, you know, that's something uh, that you're going to be doing on an ongoing basis and, and therefore being able to see, okay, how, uh, you know, how much of a change are we making? Uh, you know, they may be, not be perfect in terms of their attitude and awareness, but has it improved? And if it's improved, you know, good. That's, that's what we want to see. Um, if not, okay, you know, we got to try something else. Again, you know, these are insur- assurance requirements. Are we, uh, is what we are doing working? Is it doing what we think it's doing? Uh, is, we do- is it doing what we need it to do? And uh, we need to, to look at those aspects of security, measure those aspects of security, um, uh, test them. Um, and, uh, you know, so, sometimes that test is, well, uh, you know, I've, as I mentioned before, you may want in, in, uh, a number of situations, uh, to have actual tests, uh, when you have new hires, when you have people going into new functions, um, before you give them, uh, the access that they need, the account that they need on the system, uh, the increase in privileges that they need for their new position, remembering, of course, to remove the access from their old position that they don't need anymore, if it's appropriate. Uh, but in any case, when their access is increased, or when they're new hires, putting them through an actual test to figure out, do they know the policy? Do they know the procedures? Do they know what is required of them? Do they have the right attitude for the security for their new position? 